had a little chat with James. He was like, do, do you want to have a, a conversation and, you know, uh, give your, your kind of thoughts to a bunch of like-minded people at the start of their sales career? And I was like, yeah, sure. Of course I'll do that. And I was like, well, what on earth do I talk about? And uh, we ended up with process and curiosity. And uh, as as James alluded, well, what does that mean? And I'm hoping uh, to give you quite a broad understanding of, of the biggest things I think that can impact you guys, um, or, or certainly I feel myself, and kind of put that into context of your career. And where are you now, right? you are at the beginning of a journey, uh, presumably, uh, as, as alluded, um, to some kind of deal closing role, or, or some kind of you know, five year plan or whatever it is that you get in your interviews. And first of all, kudos, you, you've joined the, the kind of sales confidence and Venetrix seven minute talks, what a brilliant place to start. Um, you know, I'm glad you were curious about that. But what are you going to do to, to get to those next steps? Now, I would implore you to think of it, you know, Break it down. So, okay, quarter to quarter, what am I going to do? I'm going to hit my number. Well, how am I going to do that? Well, I'm going to do that month to month. But then, okay, on a week to week basis, how many people do I need to get into a sequence? How many people do I need to get in front of? How many businesses do, do I need to, to prospect into? And then what does that mean on a day-to-day -day basis? How many calls do I need to make? How many emails should I be sending? How many tasks should I be doing? And then you can even go more macro, hour to hour, and, and kind of you know, plan out your, your day there. And for me, no matter what I've done, no matter who I've done it with, there has always been a process that drives success there. So you know, when we're talking process, I think that's largely what I mean. And you've also got to understand that no matter how you plan your process, there's going to be days, uh, there's going to be weeks where things don't quite go to plan. And you've got to understand, okay, well, this hasn't converted in, in the way that I want. What am I going to do? And you've got to be resilient. But having said all of that, you know, process, 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 and I'm sure there are some experts, um, you know, particularly in the, the sales confidence kind of umbrella, that are much, much more qualified to, to tell you, you know, what a good process looks like. I think this is where the, the kind of curiosity comes in, right? It's okay to, to say, you know, be an absolute machine, be a robot, make a million dials, whatever it is. And, and I'm sure you can see success that way. But something for me that, that I think is so important, um, and it kind of goes back to a piece that a, a mentor and a leader that I worked with uh, said, and he, he asked me to read a book and it was called To Sell is Human, right? And Yes, we have to go through this process. Yes, we have to build that pipeline you know, month on month, quarter on quarter. But ultimately, we are selling to people and we are indeed people ourselves. And everyone is selling uh, in, in one way or another, be that your product or, or be that your, your own kind of performance reviews. And whatever you do in, in your job, your, 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 you know, in your SDR role, you're going to pick up skills that are going to be invaluable wherever you go. But you've got to be curious about, you know, how are you going to develop those skills? You've got to ask questions all the way through the, the processes that you're going through. So, you know, where am I going in, in my career? What do I want to do? What do I, I like? Um, and how can I do more of that? Uh, questions about your product. So, you know, what problems am I solving? Why am I, I, I you know, solving them? Where's it going in, in the next few months? How do we stand out from our competitors? And by asking those questions, you're going to become much more fluent in the problems that you solve and communicating them effectively. What's more, you know, asking questions, right? You know, and you'll probably have been coached this and you will be coached this um, by sales leaders, um, you know, in, until the end of sales, you know, asking questions about your, your, your prospect, you know, understanding, oh, well, that's not the, that's not the response I normally get. You know, why not ask why? And, and if you can empathize with the people that you're looking to speak to, you're in a really good position to, to drive success. But then also, if you kind of go back and go, okay, well, I, I've got this process, uh, you know, this is the way it, 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 it's kind of been done. What if you, you look at, okay, well, how can I improve that? Where am I on, on my expected conversion rates? Where are my colleagues doing better? And if you can, you know, ask questions around that, if you can understand where you can improve, 
you'll end up looking back at yourself and thinking, you know what, I have developed a serious, serious amount over these past, you know, months, years. And that's something that I really, really enjoy about sales. Um, and I think if you if you apply that and, and really strategically plan, you know, who am I going to go after? Why? What am I going to say? And how is what I'm I'm saying changing based on these results? You're going to develop an iterative process that will mean you can comprehensively improve as an individual, as a salesperson, and ultimately drive success, not only for yourself, but, but also for your team. And you'll be able to, to look back on, on what you're doing and you know, really be pleased with the kind of development you're going on. I guess um, when we, or when I look back at some of the processes that, that I've been, been doing and, and the way that we work on them, there's one, one kind of quote that, that I was told, and it's just love the process, right? You've got to get stuck in and you've really got to enjoy it. And in order to do that, I think you've got to put a bit of yourself into it, right? You can't, you know, this, this isn't just a job that you, you, you do for, for you know, I'll just do it. If you enjoy what you do, you genuinely believe in why you're doing it and have a desire to, to improve, you're going to have so much more fun and when you're asking those questions and getting those answers, you're going to end up in a really, really good place. I think I've got 20 seconds left that I don't really need. So, um, perfect.